April 1954, the liner Gothic brought Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip to Salon. Already they had journeyed more than halfway around the globe, visiting the most distant countries of the Commonwealth. But in Salon, they were to receive a greeting unsurpassed in its loyalty and affection by any of the Queen's subjects. The people of Salon jealously cling to many of their ancient customs and rituals. Yet whilst they treasure the glories of their past, they look forward to the future. Already they have laid the foundations for the years to come. New skills and equipment are theirs, and eagerly they employ them to create a future yet more glorious than their past. Typical of the salon of modern times are the new diesel-electric locomotives. Sleek, fast, efficient machines that symbolize the progress of the island. 25 such locomotives are being built for Salon by Brush Bagnall Traction Limited. Their story begins more than 6,000 miles away in the company's workshops at Loughborough in the English Midlands. This crane is in the locomotive erection shop which covers an area of 17,000 square feet. It is the most modern shop in Great Britain. All the employees are skilled craftsmen with an intense pride in their own workmanship and in their company's reputation. This fan is one of the many examples of precision engineering which go to make the completed locomotives. It weighs far less than the superstructure we saw a moment ago, but it must be handled with no less care. The fan is driven by an electric motor fed by the auxiliary generator. It draws air through the radiators for the diesel engine, oil and water cooling circuits. Brush Electrical Engineering Company Limited manufacture all the electrical equipment. Experienced locomotive engineers supervise the lowering of the fan assembly into its correct position. Constant supervision by such experts is exercised at all stages of assembly. Once the locomotive has been completely assembled and has been fully tested, it will enter the workshops once more before being shipped overseas. Each is then given an export finish to preserve it against the weather during its ocean voyage. The tests undergone by each locomotive take place at Loughborough, for there, Brush Bagnall Traction Limited has a quarter of a mile of test track laid in all overseas gauges. In addition, there is a separate test house. Thus, in perfect condition and ready for years of trouble-free service, the locomotives are delivered to Salon. After a final coat of paint, they begin their duty. They are capable of a maximum speed of 55 miles an hour, which is the track limit. The power is provided by 12-cylinder turbocharged four-stroke oil engines. Merleys, Bickerton and Day Limited are the manufacturers. Under sight conditions in Salon, each engine develops 1,000 horsepower at 850 revolutions a minute. 87 tons is the weight of each locomotive in full working order. Salon, an island of magnificent natural scenery, presents the railway engineer with many problems. Conditions there are arduous for railway locomotives. Gradients of 1 in 40, for example, are frequently encountered. The weather, too, is another factor to be considered. As a protection against tropical rainstorms, all ventilating and air inlet louvers on the locomotives are waterproof. Another problem to be taken into account is the salt atmosphere. To combat this, anti-corrosive materials are used throughout the construction. Powerful though they are, the locomotives are easy to drive. They are fitted with a comfortable and roomy driving cab at each end, with separate positions for the driver and the assistant driver. Large driving windows give both men a completely unobstructed view. 
Pneumatically operated windscreen wipers ensure that the windows are clear whatever the weather. Another point is that all instruments essential to the driver are mounted on a panel in front of him. Thus, Brush Bagnall Traction Limited has combined efficiency and ease of operation with a modern clean-cut design. Whether they travel through the rugged countryside to the east or through the luxuriant vegetation of the west and south, whether they pass by paddy field or through dense forest, the diesel-electric locomotives journey on. In blazing sun or monsoon rain, they help to keep communications open, aiding the busy traffic of passengers and goods across the island. With speed and safety, they make their contribution to the progress of Ceylon. Brush Bagnall Traction Limited are responsible for the design and erection of the locomotives. But Brush Electrical Engineering Company Limited, who make the electrical equipment, and Merleys, Bickerton and Day Limited, who make the diesel engines, are also subsidiaries of the Brush Group Limited, the world's largest exporters of oil engines. Brush Bagnall Traction Limited is proud to have played such an important role in the development of the island. Diesel electric locomotives are part of Ceylon's present and a vital factor in her future. <laughs>